to think that Eamon and I nearly didn't meet at all, all those years ago in 1969. How grateful I am that we did. And to think he almost left the new Stanley Hotel before he even got started there. In true Eamon style, he stayed after standing his ground. How different Kenya would be today if he hadn't graced it with his presence. What a journey we've had together, from arriving in Kenya at a very young age on a one-year contract, Kenya the country he fell in love with, and the country that fell in love with him. He hardly wanted to leave Kenya. Almost 47 years later, despite his departure from the physical world, we know his soul is still all around us, and will forever remain in Kenya. Eamon and I have two beautiful daughters together, and now the most gorgeous and feisty granddaughter. I wonder where she gets that from. When I get to meet her, I'll give her a big hug from Grandad Shep. She would have twisted him around her little finger. Eamon was so artistic and creative in his cooking and presentation but he loved nothing more than simple, good old cottage pie, steak and kidney pie, and steak and chips. And my burnt steak must have driven him crazy, but that's how I liked it. People who know Eamon, and there are simply hundreds who've messaged, know of his strong spirit, his kindness, and the help he provided to a multitude of young Kenyans who followed in his footsteps to become great chefs. He loved his lads, as he called them. Georgia, Kira, and I loved them too. They loved, admired, and respected Eamon in return. Eamon changed so many lives. Hundreds of people remember his work ethic and his discipline, which enabled these lives to be changed. I'm grateful to have spent so many years with Eamon. We had a lot of fun and laughs as his canny Irish sense of humour was cheeky, and he could say things to people that others would not have dared to say. It's very hard for us without Eamon now, but we know he'll be regaling others in heaven with his long stories, even the joke about the fridge, which was funny, and even more funny by the time he managed to get to the end of it. We miss his love, his kindness, his humour, his strength, there's no one like Eamon, and never will be. What we shared cannot be replicated. Our relationship was strong and special. No matter what the circumstances, we were always there for each other. We made a great team, we even finished each other's sentences, even if it took Eamon slightly longer to get to the end of his. My love for Eamon never ceased, and never will, until we meet again.